We usually write numbers in decimal form or base 10, meaning numbers are composed using 10 different digits, 0 through 9. Sometimes, though, it is useful to write numbers hexadecimal or base 16. Now there are 16 distinct digits that can be used to form numbers, where the digits are 0 through 9 and A through F. For example, 2B8 is a three-digit hexadecimal number or hexadecimal string. For the first question, we're asked how many two-digit hexadecimal strings start with C through F. And we're asked to calculate the answer using both additive and multiplicative methods. For the additive method, we will consider four cases, meaning the two-digit hexadecimals that start with C, or start with D, or start with E, or start with F. So if we consider the two-digit hexadecimals that start with C, since there are 16 choices for the ending digit, there are 16 two-digit hexadecimals that start with C, and then we have plus the number of two-digit hexadecimals that start with D, which is also 16, plus the number of two-digit hexadecimals that start with E, which is also 16, plus, and then finally, the number of two-digit hexadecimals that start with F is also 16. This gives us a sum of 64. There are 64 two-digit hexadecimal strings that start with C through F. And now using the multiplicative method, we will think of this as two events, where for the first event, we select the starting digit, which must be C through F, and therefore there are four choices for the first event, and then the second event is selecting the ending digit, which can be any of the digits from zero through F, and therefore there are 16 choices to select the second digit, which indicates the number of two-digit hexadecimal strings that start with C through F would be four times 16 which of course is also equal to 64. And now let's look at two more examples. For these two questions, notice we're dealing with hexadecimal strings, which means 000 through FFF are all valid strings. So for the next question, we're asked how many three-digit hexadecimal strings start with C through F and end with two through six. Using the multiplicative principle, or the counting principle, we can think of this as three events, where the first event is selecting the starting digit, the second event is selecting the middle digit, and the third event is selecting the ending digit. And since we have four choices for the starting digit, we have four, and then times, because there are 16 possible digits for the second digit, or the middle digit, because there are no restrictions, we have times 16, and then times, for the ending digit, we have the options of two, three, four, five, or six, which gives us five possible choices for the ending digit, and therefore we have times five. Four times 16 times five is 320. There are 320 three-digit hexadecimal strings, starting with C through F and ending with two through six. And then for the last question, we're asked how many three-digit hexadecimal strings start with C through F or end with two through six. So this one's a little bit more involved. To answer this question, we will have to first calculate the number of three-digit hexadecimal strings starting with C through F, and then add the number of three-digit hexadecimal strings that end with two through six, but this sum is going to count the number of three-digit hexadecimals that start with C through F and end with two through six twice, meaning those numbers would be in both of these sets, and therefore we have to subtract them out once, meaning we have to subtract out the number of three-digit hexadecimal strings that start with C through F and end with two through six once. So let's first determine how many three-digit hexadecimal strings start with C through F. Well, there are four choices for the first digit and no restrictions on the next two digits, which gives us four times 16 times 16 plus the number of three-digit hexadecimals that end with two through six would be 16 times 16 times five. Again, no restrictions on the first two digits, and there are five choices for the ending digit. And again, we are assuming 000 through FFF are valid strings. And then we have minus the number of three-digit hexadecimal strings that start with C through F and end with two through six, which we found above, which is four times 16 times five. And now let's go ahead and simplify. Four times 16 times 16 is 1,024. 
16 times 16 times 5 is 1,280. And we already know 4 times 16 times 5 is 320, giving us a total of 1,984 three-digit hexadecimal strings that start with C through F or end with 2 through 6. I hope you found this helpful.